Welcome back. Uh, in case you didn't know, Food Allergy Awareness Week is this week. So we're kicking it off by visiting with a local mother who knows a thing or two about uh, that situation. She's Selena Blunser, and you have a little girl who was affected yes. by food allergies. Yes, I do. Um, she has severe allergies to milk, peanuts, eggs, um, also tree nuts, black seed, <laughs> sesame seeds, mustard, and some other foods. We, we find out about them sometimes as she encounters the food and then has a reaction. That's so probably those are the ones one of the more extreme about. cases that I've heard of, um, at least for yeah, me. Yeah, well, uh, they the recent studies show that one in 13 in children in the U.S. Yeah. have food allergies, and as many as 30% of those have multiple food allergies, like my daughter. So it is much more prevalent than it has been in the past. So. When you were pregnant with her, did you know this going in? Did you realize this, this could be I something you would deal with? No, I really didn't know much about food allergies when I was pregnant. Um, it wasn't till she was a few months old that she developed a rash and we started to see the signs, but it wasn't till she was around 18 months old that we um, had her tested and dealt with an allergist and found out for sure that she had these allergies and had the test confirm allergies wow. we didn't know yeah well tell us about this week obviously uh you're trying to get the word out so what are some things you're doing and what are some things you would like the audience to take away from our conversation here well yes it is food allergy awareness week so we're just trying to get information out about how uh severe food allergies can be uh, reactions are they can be swift uh you could start out with something as simple as hives a little itchiness mm -hmm. but it can progress very quickly in a matter of minutes you could be dealing with uh, respiratory issues and the only real treatment that we have since there is no cure for food allergies is epinephrine mm -hmm. uh, something like uh, an EpiPen an epinephrine auto injector which you would use um, it looks like this and your daughter uses yes. something like this um, we have not had to use it oh. yet actually uh, we have been very close um, but you carry this around at all times it is the life-saving medication you would administer this and go call 911 and you would go straight to an emergency room because um, it is the only thing that can halt anaphylaxis which is a very severe reaction involving one of the more major systems uh, lungs breathing difficulty vomiting diarrhea things like that um, uh, so it can be it can be very serious to say the yes, least yes even just minor things uh touching uh, inhalation of vapors yeah contact uh, children especially small children they of touch course. things they touch their nose their ears their I know eyes. all about that <laughs> I trust me yeah, um, so. okay so you're trying to get the word out to parents obviously mm -hmm. what about schools I know they're getting ready to get out for the summer uh, but how much confidence do you have in the school systems and just being ready and, and protecting our kids um, yeah well they did just uh, release the um, the guidelines for uh, the care of children with food allergies who are at risk for anaphylaxis they came out May 1st and they're finalizing those and they have to be in place by August 1st so we're looking forward to seeing what's in those and we're hoping that they'll help keep our children safe and included so that they don't have to be so concerned with their health and they can focus on their studies. So I am hopeful that those those um, guidelines will do a lot to help protect our children and keep them safe. So. I guess lastly, what is the prognosis for your little girl? Um, they're working very hard. We're raising money continuously to try and find a cure because as I said, there is no cure. Right. Uh, strict avoidance is key. We just have to stay away from her allergens. We're very vigilant. I have a membership at Costco just to buy wipes because I have to wipe every surface down yeah. and be very aware of everything she touches, ingests, eats, sees and smells. And so. yeah. Yeah, so we just keep on top of it and just keep a, keep a mind about everything that she's in contact yeah. with. And, and that's what this week is all about. Again, just yes. more awareness. If people would like more information, I know there are websites and yes, resources out there. Yes, the Food Allergy and Anaphylaxis Network is an excellent resource, foodallergy.org. Yeah. And um, our support group, uh, the Food Allergy uh, Support Team, is a local group. Lo that's true. Yeah. Yes, that Good to point out. Good. Well, thank you for coming in and give, give our thoughts and well wishes to your little girl. We Thanks. appreciate that. Very happy to okay. Thank you.